it is time to play with yet another tool. In fact, I guess this is technically the second new tool that Accuracy One has released this year. So let me back up about a year. Uh, in fact, it was about a month before Southwest National, so um, just under a year ago. Uh, Kurt, who is the engineer designer of a lot of the tools for Accuracy One, reached out to me because we've worked together in the past and, and we stay in contact about different projects. Um, if you remember, I just reviewed their new uh, uh, bullet uh, sorting tool. And that one sort of manifested a little faster uh, this year. But this one started right about the beginning of January. And he called me up and he goes, hey, I've got an idea. I want to motorize the... Um, the Hoover Miplat trimmer. And I said, okay, that sounds good. Cause I, you know, as much as I love that trimmer, I struggled just with my hands and everything using a drill on it. And I hated, you know, obviously the hand crank one just is, is repetitive. So I was sort of hit or miss on my trimming last year. And, and so beginning of Jan uh, January, he said, well, he goes, find me one of these Lyman express trimmers and send it to me. And I'm going to mock up uh, a prototype for you to try. So that's what I did. I picked up a used one of these Lyman Expresses and uh, sent it back to him. And he mocked up this prototype here, which I used for, um, for Southwest Nationals and for Nationals and a bunch of other matches. And it has gotten me back into the practice of trimming, which honestly I hadn't been doing a lot, like I said, last year. Um, I am pretty confident in trimming, so I don't mind doing it. I do think it adds some value, especially when you point afterwards. But there hasn't been a great way to do it from a motorized standpoint that, that wasn't just wear and tear on you. So here's what we've got. This is the Lyman Express. Now, I've reviewed this unit. I think it is a fantastic uh, brass trimmer for the money. It's like $120, $130 bucks, uh, from different places that you can buy it from. And it's very repeatable. And it has a really nice fine adjustment. If you remember right here, every one of these notches, when it has a little white line, is one thousandths apart. And when I did my testing on the trimmer, it was very true to form. Everything measured out one thousand variance. So it's one of the reasons that Kurt adopted this platform. Uh, I'll show you the other because it's really easy to switch out. But the main thing is it's already a contained motor unit. It can easily house there, um, this is the actual uh, production unit. It can house their Miplat trimmer body and it allows you to put in the new Miplat that they send you as well. So when you order it, it's, it's like this. I don't have the exact pricing, but it's essentially the same as ordering their current Miplat housing and, and mill, which is about 150 bucks. Uh, I will say that like other units I've uh, reviewed for them, this is not technically on their website. So if at the end of this you decide it's something you want, you can call and order one um, and get ahead of the curve uh, before it hits their website. So what do you got? Well, I don't have the actual Lyman uh, head on here anymore because he's got it and, and when he retrofitted it, I didn't really care because I use my Henderson. Uh, but um, I'm gonna just show you how to replace it as if this was the actual Lyman head. So it could not be simpler. You literally just unscrew. You can see it's pushing the head that way. And it's going to obviously stop at some point and it just pops off. And the Lyman head does the exact same thing. You're then gonna take an Allen wrench. There's a little brass call or housing here. You're going to loosen that and you're gonna pull out the Lyman end mill piece that's in there. You are then going to take the Accuracy One Hoover piece and throw it in and it stops. It's got like a, a bottom out and you're just going to tighten that up. Okay. And then this is the 284 housing, but they have them in all the different calibers. There's a slot on the bottom and it's going to line up with this pin that's in the bottom here. And you just give it a little bit of pressure in. Okay. And then you start sucking it in. Now I can adjust it in. And and that's it, like literally you're done. So if you want to use this Lyman trimmer to trim your brass and to trim bullets, great. You can swap it in and out very quickly. Uh, but I will say for people that want to trim bullets, I think this Lyman piece is gonna be worth the investment to motorize the Hoover piece. So these bullets have been kind of cut up a few times because they're just demo ones that I've done some other stuff with. But 
all you're going to do, and I'm not going into a whole video on how to actually trim bullets, but now it allows you to, you know, bring it in until you're just about touching the, uh, the mill here. Okay. And now I have it set. Now, the beauty is obviously that I can just keep feeding, and, and you can see here, in fact, let me just put a clamp on it real quick. You can see that you can very quickly, you know, if I was trimming, I mean, it's very quick to go in and out and, you know, accurately trim. But the real, let me turn this off so you can hear me a little better. But you see that? I mean, that was, you know, eight or nine bullets. The real value in this is that if you pair it up with the, let me pull it out real quick. If you pair it up with this, which is the, you know, the accuracy one overall length gauge that we that we did. And if you remember, I sort everything into boxes of one thousandths. So what does that let me do? Well, it means I can literally come out here, set my longest bullet or my shortest, either way you want to do it, set it, and then simply by adjusting one notch each time, I can go down a thousandths, down a thousandths, down a thousandths, or up a thousandths, up a thousandths, up a thousandths, whichever way you want to do it. But I can literally work through all of my sorted bullets and make sure that they're all trimmed exactly the same. They all go back in their sorted boxes. Now I go to my pointer. I can move that one thousandths. And now I have beautifully trimmed and pointed bullets across a perfect sort of one thousandths each. It really makes it easy and it really makes it simple and it makes it incredibly repeatable. And more than that, I guess it really gives me confidence that I didn't necessarily have with just the standalone. I don't know if I have one still, but you know, the standalone trimmer, you could adjust, but it wasn't like a micrometer setting or anything. So it was tough to kind of bump that thousands and a thousands and a thousands super uh, repeatably by having the, the lines on the dial here. I mean, you can just go boom, trim them all, boom, trim them all, boom, trim them all, and you're good to go. So it's a really simple piece. Um, you know, not everybody's going to want one. You know, I'll tell you the truth. If you, if you want one, probably your best bet is to just, you know, like sell off your other trimmer, go ahead and pick up the threaded trimmer, swap it out if you want, and then you're pretty much good to go. Uh, you know, full disclosure, I forgot to mention it at the beginning, but, you know, being that I prototyped this, I did not pay for this unit. I 100% would. Um, I do like trimming, like I said, and I just haven't found a way to trim that I enjoy. I've tried um, another motorized Miplat trimmer, and I wasn't happy with how it worked and adjusted, uh, and it, it really was just a pain for me. Honestly, it was more work than it was worth. Uh, this has made it just so simple and easy. So uh, anyway, if trimming is something that you're into, and I get it, not everybody is, and that's fine, uh, but if trimming is something that you're into and you'd like a way to be able to do a lot of bullets very quickly and move across you know, a spread of measurement, uh, very easily, this is going to be the way to do it. So I'll put a link down below for the Lyman Express and uh, how to contact uh, Hoover for the unit. And like I said, you're going to have to give them a call. It's not on their website as of today. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, there's a chance that it is on their website. So uh, with that, uh, this very, very well may be my last video of 2022. I uh, hope you guys all have a great new year. I appreciate you watching. Um, you know, just have a good one and remember, just be as sporty as the wind. <laughs>